everyone knows it's been wet. But we had a couple of dry days which have used for slurry carting and then it has rained a bit and it's sort of dampy drizzly now today. But I think it's a bit wet for slurry carting. But what we're gonna do instead is we're on a mission to put the Shane Arrows on or get them out of the shed and on the tractor. And maybe attempt doing a little bit. So let's have a look. So this is where they keep the chain arrows. On there. Let's load that open. And we just want the the balls. So these go on the Harris. Just there. I've just done this there. Found the hole. The other one was on this side.
come into the second field, the whole field, what to do it. So this was being dragged across the floor by the chain errors. Now, that might have come in the muck spreader, or it might have been already in here. Don't actually know. But, um, we'll move that out of the way. Put that under there on that couch, right? As you can see, we're on a trusty 390T. This is what this 390T normally does at this time of year. Does the chain error in and fertilizer spreading? So, changes between the two and when we need it. Well, it's mainly our field working tractor, this. But, what I'm trying to do is, I try and do two laps round and then go up and down. They end up with the stripes like there is in that field over there. But they tried to go. I've been around once and that was fine. Tried to go up that bank on that side. The set time couldn't do it. So I got to the top and come down just to cover the ruts up. The wheel marks. Um, so it is trying me. But it's the fact that the field's got hills in and the ground's wet, which isn't helping. But this one needs doing sort of soon. And as soon as it's dry enough, I need to be tanking, not chain out. So try to do this when conditions aren't exactly the best. But hey ho.
breaking it up, lovely. A bit dark in the field a little bit. Just arrow that bit again when I finish the field. Uh, but that's just showing how wet it is, how wet the ground is. So now I've had one of the wettest March, February is wettest March is on record. So, will we have the, one of the wettest Aprils on record? Don't know. The tables will turn at some point and we'll end up with the driest. It's bound to happen. I'm preparing them for the driest uh, winter or uh, summer on record. And the ball look like. Just destroys it. But yeah, hopefully that does not happen. Last thing we want after the wet one of the wettest winters on record is I want to dry summer. Because so that will be nailing coffee pretty much. But hey ho, hopefully we get a bit of an even Stevens and we have uh, enough rain to keep grass growing but uh, uh, enough dry days for it to dry out. Well, anyway, nearly done the field now.